How are you doing today? My name is Mike Davis. I work in the safety training department. We're here to show you guys how to put chains on duels. I know that we don't always have to put chains on, but in California, in some weather conditions, they will have you put chains all the way across your front axle. So we're going to demonstrate how to do that. All right, the first thing you want to do is lay out your chains. Make sure that your chains are nice and even. No broken parts on your chains or your hooks are there. Just kind of walk through and uh, make sure everything looks good. The first chain, what we're going to do is we're going to do the throw over. We're going to pick it up about center way and we're going to throw this chain over to the inside duel. Now, on the inside duel, you're going to want your cams, your tighteners, to be on the inside. It's not like on the outside, the cam will be on the inside. So, that's the first one. Next, we'll take and throw our outside chain on. Make sure that the cams are on the outside of the tire. You wanna make sure these hooks for your chains are always towards the outside. You don't want them inside because it will flatten the tire. Okay, all of our cams are unlocked. So we have it around. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. What I like doing is pulling them up a little bit high. and making sure that everything looks good. All right. Now we're just gonna hook this because we're gonna fix, we're fixing to drive this truck forward. That way we can actually work with it and everything will be up top. So I'm gonna do the same to the inside one. I'm gonna have to get in and underneath. Now remember, while you're doing this, you will be laying in slush, snow, and ice. It's always smart to make sure that you have proper clothing. A good clothing would be rain suit, uh, heavy jacket and everything, especially a rain suit so you won't be wet once you get up and get out. You can take that rubber off and your underclothes will be a lot drier. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull the truck forward so we can start to work from the top to the bottom, which will make it a lot easier for you instead of having to lay in that snow. Go ahead and pull up. Now we got the truck pulled forward, you can see everything's a whole lot easier to get to. Now I can actually come over here, pull my slack out of your chain, because you always want to make sure your chains are tight so they don't snap while you're driving. Now I'll be able to hook on the back side here, I'll be able to get into my first hook, or my first link. So we're in our first link on both sides. So now we'll get our cam tightener. Get our chain nice and straight. And we're gonna tighten our cams. Pretty simple procedure. And I'll just go ahead and go around each cam tensioner. Let's see, let's go the right way. And we're a little loose. So, what we're gonna do is tighten it up a little bit. 
pull some slack up and we're going to get us hooked on another link. All right. See, we're looking a little bit better there. Let's see if we can get her tightened up now. There she goes. See how she's tightening up a lot better? That's what you want. All right. Now we got a good tight chain. All right, now we got our front chain on. Same thing, same process, same everything. The only thing is you're gonna get a little bit colder because you're gonna have to lay down to tighten your cams. But basically it's the same process. You're gonna get to your cam lock. We're actually gonna go one more link. Because you definitely wanna make sure these chains are tight when you're driving. And uh, my suggestion to you, if you do have to chain up, is please, please do not go over 25 miles an hour. 20 or 15 would be really good is what I'd like to see and that's pretty much what I did if I had to chain. All right, let's get locked in as soon as we can get. All right, we're locked in. Now we're gonna check our front. Looks like we're gonna be pretty good, pretty tight. So now, we're gonna do the same step that we did on the front. We're gonna get our cam uh, tightener. We're gonna come back here. We're gonna start adjusting, tightening our cams. Here's one. Oops. Here's one down here. And then we have so on down at the bottom. But if you notice, we have a good tight fit on everything. I'm gonna get down here and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those. All right, we got that one. And now we got the one more. And there we go. Now all of our cams are tight. All right. And that's the process of putting on dual chains on your truck.